Dear student and parent, welcome to the Test Prep Card channel. This video is going to be about everything about the extended essay for IV, E, E, extended essay and the tips. And I will be covering uh, everything that you would require to know with regard to what is an extended essay, what is the grading system, what is it that are the prerequisites which are required for you to write a good extended essay. So IB students around the globe fear writing the extended essay, but it doesn't have to be a source of stress. In this video, I will get you excited about writing this, writing your EE or the extended essay, and also assist you in identifying what is it that you need to put in? What are the efforts that are required to get an A on it? Showing academic excellence through a research essay or project has become a necessary expectation today for high schools. Research in the discipline area of a student's choice helps them demonstrate higher order thinking skills or your critical thinking skills, independent learning, and applying problem solving techniques. So these are all your 21st century skills. It also allows you to position yourselves well in university applications. Highly competitive universities value evidence of a student's passion for his or her subject. The benefits of these skills are recognized when they progress to universities and the workplace and are expected to be able to manage their workloads and competing priorities. We at Test Prep Card identify academic writing skills and research as an important aspect of building the student's academic profile. We are looking at identifying a suitable research topic, device, justify and develop an appropriate research question, carry out the research using appropriate research methods, following appropriate academic conventions for writing. We at Test Prep Card help students develop skills for their IB research tasks. For example, the internal assessments and the extended essays, and also lend advice on how to address the criteria for these tasks effectively. Coming to how is the IB extended essay graded? Your extended essays are graded by examiners appointed by the IB on a scale of zero to 34. You'll be graded on five criteria. Each has its own set of points. Okay, so let me discuss this. Criterion one, focus and method. So this carries six points. Criterion two, knowledge and understanding. Again, six points. Criterion C, let me say criterion A, B, and C. C is critical thinking, carrying 12 points. Criterion D, presentation, carrying four points. And criterion E, engagement, carrying six points. How well you do on each of these criteria will determine the final letter grade you get for your extended essay. You must earn at least a D to be eligible to receive your IB diploma. Although each criterion has a point value, the IB explicitly states that graders are not converting point totals into grades. Instead, they use qualitative grade descriptors to determine the final grade of your extended essay. Coming to talk about the extended essay. The extended essay is an in-depth study of a focused topic chosen from the list of available diploma program subjects. It gives students an opportunity to conduct independent research or investigation on a topic that interests them, encouraging them to demonstrate a deeper understanding of the subject chosen and assessing their ability to communicate their findings in a specific way as required for the academic paper. The IB extended essay 
is a mini thesis you write under the supervision of an IB advisor, maybe an IB teacher at your school, which counts towards your IB diploma. For the extended essay, you will have to choose a research question as a topic, conduct the research independently, then write an essay on your findings. The essay itself is a long one. Although there's a cap of 4,000 words, most successful essays get very close to this limit. Do keep in mind that the IB requires that the essay be a formal piece of academic writing, meaning you will have to do outside research and cite additional sources. Next tip, now that I have mentioned the structure, ensure that your essay has a clear structure and flow. The coherence and cohesion has to be maintained. The IB likes structure. Your extended essay needs to have a clear introduction, which should be one to two double space pages. Research question focus, that is, what is your topic of investigation? A body and a conclusion, about one double space page. An essay with unclear organization will be graded poorly. So ensure that your essay has a proper structure. The organization is of paramount importance. The body of your extended, extended essay should make up the bulk of the essay, right? It should be about eight to 18 pages long. Again, it completely depends on the topic of your choice. Your body can be split into multiple parts. For example, if you are doing a comparison, you might have one third of your body as a novel analysis, another third as novel B analysis, and third and the final part as your comparison of novel A and novel B. So that is how you structure your essay. If you're conducting an experiment or analyzing the data, your extended essay body should have a clear structure that aligns with the scientific method. You should state the research question, discuss your method, present the data, analyze the data, explain any uncertainties, and draw a conclusion or evaluate success of the experiment. The topics that an IB essay must include, okay, title page, content page, introduction, body of the essay, conclusions, references, and bibliography. Additional to this, your research topic must fall into one of the six approved DP categories or the IB subject groups, which can be listed as studies in language and literature, language acquisition, individuals and societies, sciences, mathematics, and the arts. You can technically write about anything so long as it falls within the purview of one of the categories which I just stated. It's best to choose a topic that matches one of the IB courses such as theater, film, Spanish, French, math, biology, etc. Which shouldn't be difficult because there are humongous class of subjects here. So how do we actually pick the options because these are limitless. Now, once you have chosen the topic of your choice, which I just mentioned, we need to think about what are the essentials or how do you actually write a stellar IB extended essay? First, write about something you enjoy. You cannot expect to write a compelling essay if you're not a fan of the topic. You need to have a passion on whatever aspect you are working on. Try to identify what you're passionate about. Start thinking by asking yourself questions like, which classes do I enjoy the most and why? 
Do you like math? Because you like to solve problems. Or do you enjoy English? Because you like to analyze literary texts. Keep in mind, there is no right or wrong answer when it comes to choosing your extended essay topic. You are not more likely to get high marks because you are writing about science. Just like you are not doomed to fail because you've chosen to tackle the social sciences. The quality of what you produce, not the field you choose to research or will determine your grade. Once you've figured out your category, brainstorm about more specific topics before putting pen to paper. Talk, think about what was a favorite chapter that you enjoyed in that particular subject in that particular class. Was it astrophysics or was it mechanics? What did you like about the specific chapter? Is there something you want to learn more about? It? I would definitely recommend spend some hours in brainstorming. One last note, if you, trip, if you are actually stumped on what to research, pick a topic that will help you in your future major or career. You will have made a choice, right? Think about a topic which would assist you for your career choice. That way you can use your extended essay as a talking point in your college essays and it will prepare you for your future studies too. Tip number two, select a topic that is neither too broad nor too narrow. There's a fine line between broad and narrow. You need to write about something specific, but do not get too much into detail and nitty gritties that you cannot cover all of it in the 4,000 word limit, which is specified. I will be attaching a sample extended essay for your reference, which I've chosen from my favorite field, literature. Go over it for a thorough understanding of how you need to structure your essay. Next tip, now that I have mentioned the structure, ensure that your essay has a clear structure and flow. The coherence and cohesion has to be maintained. The IB likes structure. Your extended essay needs to have a clear introduction, which should be one to two double space pages. Research question focus, that is, what is your topic of investigation? A body and a conclusion, about one double space page. An essay with unclear organization will be graded poorly. So ensure that your essay has a proper structure. The organization is of paramount importance. The body of your extended, extended essay should make up the bulk of the essay, right? It should be about eight to 18 pages long. Again, it completely depends on the topic of your choice. Your body can be split into multiple parts. For example, if you are doing a comparison. You might have one third of your body as a novel analysis, another third as novel B analysis, and third and the final part as your comparison of novel A and novel B. So that is how you structure your essay. If you're conducting an experiment or analyzing the data, I hope you found this video talking about the IB extended essay useful. In case of any further doubts or clarifications, do comment, get in touch with test prep cut in the link description provided below. Comment, connect with us, and do subscribe and keep yourself updated about the latest topics with regard to SAT exam. Thank you.